Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Mind Your Mental Matters. I am Yvette and in this video I'll be talking about anxiety because anxiety is the world's biggest mental health problem. Yep, the biggest mental health problem in the world is anxiety and the crazy part is that most or a lot of people have never even heard of it. Crazy, right? So in this video, I will be defining anxiety, talking about the possible causes or symptoms and how you can treat it. So let's get right to it. What is anxiety? So anxiety is the mind and body's reaction to stressful, dangerous or unfamiliar situations. It's the sense of uneasiness or distress or dread you feel before a significant event. A certain level of anxiety helps us to stay alert and be aware. Um, but for those who are suffering from an anxiety disorder, it feels far from normal and can be completely debilitating really. So from this definition, what we can take away is that anxiety is like that sense of nervousness, right? And I mean, it's normal to feel nervous. We all feel nervous from time to time and we have different reasons or different things make us feel nervous, right? For example, I normally feel nervous um, maybe when I have to go and meet a client and I'm like, mm, I wonder how this is going to go, right? Or if I have to speak in front of a big crowd of strangers, then I'd feel nervous just before that. But as soon as I start talking and as, as soon as I get into it and I get into my element, then the nerves go away, right? So I think maybe that's what we would consider normal kind of anxiety. Other people could say maybe they feel nervous before a job interview or they feel nervous before um, when they're about to start at a new school, you know, um, they feel nervous maybe just before an exam. So you can kind of link your nervousness to something. I am nervous because of this, right? And yeah, even though it's an unpleasant feeling, it can be quite motivating because, you know, it, your nerves kind of push you to be on your A game and try to do better, right? It's a feeling that kind of comes and goes and it doesn't interfere with your everyday life, right? And that's what we would consider normal anxiety or normal kind of nerves, good nerves, right? But now, when those feelings don't go away, you know, like that fear, it just stays with you or you get to a point of extreme anxiousness, you know, or, you know, feeling overwhelmed with just fear. That's when we could consider it um, an anxiety disorder, right? So anxiety is like an umbrella term that is given to um, several types of anxiety disorders, right? Those types of um, anxiety disorders include panic disorders, um, specific phobias, social anxiety disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, separation anxiety disorder, or post-traumatic stress disorder, right? Um, then you have your generalized anxiety disorder, which is what I will talk about in this video, but you can check out my other videos where I talk about the specific types of anxiety disorders. Okay, now there is an estimation of 275 million people all over the world who suffer from anxiety disorders. That's about 4% of the global population. And of that 275 million, 60% of them are women. It's also been said that anxiety is the most common um, mental illness in children and teenagers. In fact, um, about 15% of South Africa's university students have reported either a mild or severe anxiety disorder. Guys, 15% of university students. And I'm out here like, what are we missing? Like, uh, why don't we know about these things? How can we, how do we spot anxiety, right? So, like, what are some of the symptoms of um, anxiety, for example? Now, we know that different experiences don't affect us in the same way, right? So anxiety will also not present itself in the same way. It's actually very, you know, different depending on the person who's experiencing it, right? 
um, for some people, maybe they could feel like they're just out of control. You know, they have they can't control their lives. They don't know what to do. Other people could, you know, have maybe feel a disconnection between their mind and their body. Um, some people would just feel butterflies in their stomach and it just goes through all of their body. Or you just, you know, have a runny tummy really, right? Other people experience panic attacks, you know, um, painful thoughts and just memories that they just cannot control, right? So it's very important for us to know um, different types of anxiety and the different ways in which anxiety can present itself. So we can be better prepared and we are able to pinpoint duty. This could be it. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is not right your symptoms can be totally different from somebody else's if we talk about an anxiety attack for example the symptoms could include maybe feeling dizzy or feeling faint you know um short breath or shortness of breath um fast beating heart you could um have symptoms of like a dry mouth or you know sweating a lot um chills and hot flashes or you could just have restlessness, man. You just can't sleep, you know, or you just have difficulty falling asleep. You could have distress or feelings of distress, feeling of worry, feeling of shame, um, feelings of fear. Um, you could have maybe feeling numb, you know, all over your body or just have trouble concentrating. You could have a combination of these. You could have all of these. You could have one of these, which is just constantly overwhelming you right now like i said it's very normal for every one of us to have these feelings from time to time but they don't stay we feel them and then they go away but if these feelings like now prevent you from doing everyday activities that you would normally do now you have a fear to go outside to go to work to go to the shops you know there's just this fear that's overwhelming you or you just lose interest in the things that you used to like and you just don't have energy for anything that's when this um, it could be a call for concern that's when you should seek help right doctors would normally say if you experience one or any of these or a combination of these symptoms for a period of six months then um, you could be um, suffering from anxiety but if you you know yourself right you don't have to wait for six months and then you say okay maybe this is anxiety for example, I'm usually a bubbly person, I'm talkative, I'm out there, and I just like to be with my friends. So if I were to spend maybe a whole month and I just don't want to see nobody, I don't want to go out, I don't want to talk to anyone, then those could be symptoms that I might be um, experiencing or entering a phase of anxiety. Now, what causes anxiety? Uh, researchers are not quite sure but they say that it could be a combination of maybe environmental factors, brain chemistry, and genetics, right? Um, if you have a history of traumatic experiences such as domestic violence or child abuse or bullying, this could trigger anxiety. And a lot of people go through really, really traumatic experiences on a daily basis, right? um a history of alcohol and drug abuse could trigger anxiety or if you just have a long-term chronic illness such as um arthritis for example right but the truth is like any other illness there's no apparent reason why somebody could suffer from anxiety right and the good news is like every other illness anxiety can be treated now how do we treat anxiety the first thing you'd have to do is obviously to go and seek help go to a gp if you can or seek psychological therapies if you can right those are the people who will be able to diagnose you and say yes this is anxiety or no this is not anxiety it is actually one two and three those are the people who will be able to guide you on your next steps right if you cannot see a gp or it's okay go to the clinic yes i know there's attitude in clinics and whatnot so go with somebody you trust like a friend or a relative who will be able to handle the silliness when while you're going through your feelings you know but go to a public clinic it's free in a lot of countries and i mean that's what it's there for right if you have been diagnosed with anxiety and now you have to take medication make sure you see your course through if they prescribe medication for you for like six months for example 
don't now be like three months later oh no i'm feeling fine i don't have to do it anymore because you might relapse you know and this is what we don't want so if you've been given a course for six months see it through go back to your doctor and then find out if you should stay on the meds or if you should be off the meds because what we're trying to do here is to manage the anxiety right now the other thing you can do is to help yourself you know exercise exercise is so important guys because you know it keeps our bodies good and it also keeps our mental health really good right so exercise eat well you know try to stay away from junk food and eat nutritious food for your body it's going to be good for your mind as well right sleep make sure you get enough rest whenever you can on your day off at the weekend whenever you get a chance try to get some sleep rest your body right um smokers sorry but you gotta stop smoking i mean smoking is not good for you if you have anxiety drinking alcohol and caffeine is not good for you if you have anxiety so if you cannot eliminate it completely then try to cut the intake or the amount of caffeine or alcohol that you take right um I mean, try to plan your, your days and your weeks ahead. You know what I mean? Um, this can help you in managing um, your anxiety. You know, have a to-do list of things that you need to do and this can push you. Make sure that you surround yourself with people who understand your illness, who, people who understand what anxiety is and people who know how to deal with you or how to interact with you and know how to help you. You know, meditate guys calm is an inside job take time out of your day to do some meditation take time out of your day to just sit and be still and just just calm yourself right parents spouses children people around support structures learn to listen listen not so that you can answer back not so you can psychoanalyze somebody but so that you can be able to offer the emotional support that they need right listen so that you can offer the emotional support that somebody needs people out here need a listening ear make sure you are that for your people right parents Try not to talk your children out of anxiety. I know you try to motivate them. Oh no, you're better than this. Oh no, you can do better. Da, 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 da. All good, right? But try not to talk them out of it. After you've done all that motivation, take it to the next level and seek the help that they need from a professional. The other thing you can do is to just equip your children with the necessary skills they need to manage their anxiety so that should it hit, they know what to do and are still able to function on a day-to-day -day basis, right? And for the person who has anxiety, learn to accept your anxiety and not to fight it. Remember, we cannot control our emotions, but we can try to control our reactions to those emotions. So don't be trying to say, ah, no, 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 I don't have this. Don't fight it. Accept and then equip yourself with the skills to manage it okay now i'm gonna leave this one right here um thank you so much for watching let me know if this was helpful let me know what you think in the comment section down below remember to share this video with every single person that you care about so we can keep the conversation going and um, please subscribe to this channel i'm going to be posting more 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 stuff that's going to help us out and yeah man remember i'm sharing all of this with you guys from what i know and the research that i've done but i will also encourage you to check with the professional if you need professional help and that's it from me guys until the next time lots of love lots of light and great 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 everything to you guys Mwah.